Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are going to be doing another zodiac sign. Today we are going to be doing Cancer and I absolutely love hermit crabs, so I couldn't help myself. We're going to be making a hermit crab for the Cancer Zodiac sign. Oh, before I forget, I'm also going to be doing a hermit crab pattern for my website. So if you guys want to make a plush hermit crab with a shell, I'm going to have that available and I'll show it off at the end of this video. Anyway, let's get started now. Okay, so there is a lot of clay that we need to do. There's a bunch of really tiny pieces that we need to make to make our hermit crab. So I'm going to start with that first. The simplest ones are actually just the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm starting out with just little tiny pieces of wire and a small amount of clay, and I'm gonna put that at the end of the wire, just kind of round it off a little bit, make a little tiny indent of where the eye is on the little eye stalk. Next, we have some claws to make and some legs. So I'm gonna start with the large claw first. For this, I have a bit of wiring and I also have some tin foil wrapped around it to kind of increase the mass of it so I don't have to use a ton of clay and make this really heavy. So I'm gonna start by getting this covered in clay, kind of blend everything together, and then we're gonna add clay where the little pinchers are and just kind of start shaping everything and figuring out where we need to break up our shell of our claw because there are going to have to be joints in the claw. For making the smaller claw, I'm not going to have any tin foil because I'm going to make it pretty tiny. I just need the wire frame for it to help kind of build off of something. So I'm going to add some clay to this and I'm going to start doing basically the same thing that I did with the larger one, just on a smaller scale. We're going to figure out where the pinchers are going to go, break up the shell into different joints, and just kind of lay everything out and add a texture. And then for the legs, you're going to be making four of them, and one is going to be a little bit larger than the other four. Um, hermit crabs tend to have one kind of larger legs. They're actually all different sizes, but one is usually very prominently larger, and that is going to be on the side where the large pincher is. It's going to be the outer leg. So I'm going to start covering up my wires in clay, kind of laying everything out, blending them together, and then we're going to use our tools to break it up into different segments and add a texture to it just like we did with the hermit crab's claws. And then the last bit of clay that I want to make is going to be the outer shell of his body. I just want to add a little bit more hardness to him because I don't want that to be plush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tin foil and kind of shape it roughly the size that I need for the body. Then I'm going to sculpt the shell on top of this. I'm going to clean up the edges, figure out where everything goes, kind of sculpt the front of it so that it looks like the eyes can come out of it. Just kind of clean everything up and then we're going to bake all of our clay for about 45 to 55 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Once we have all of our clay pieces done baking, they've cooled to touch, we can start on painting. So I'm going to start primering everything kind of a darker orange to start off with. So I'm going to take all of the clay pieces and just go over absolutely everything. 
just to get them a nice base color to work with. And then we can start adding more reds, brighter oranges, maybe a little bit of purple for the larger claw, just a bunch of different colors here and there to really bring out the color of the hermit crab. I'm also going to want to take some watered down black and I'm going to paint in all the cracks in the shell of the hermit crab. That way there's a nice shadowing and it helps separate those joints a little bit more visually. So I'm just going to paint into all of those little cracks with a tiny brush, let everything dry, and then if I want to touch up any colors or add any brighter highlights to the shell of the hermit crab in different spots, I can do that as well. Oh, I also don't want to forget to paint on the eyes of the hermit crab, so I'm going to take those eye stalks and just really quickly add some black to the very tips of them. Now that all of our clay pieces are done, they're nice and dry from painting, and I also resined over them to help protect the paint, we can start working on our sewing now. So here are the pattern pieces that I have to make the body of our hermit crab along with his tail, which is going to go inside of a shell later on. But we'll get to that once we get the hermit crab done. So I'm going to start with the fabric pieces that are going to hold our legs together. So we have these weird looking Y sections and I'm going to lay two pieces together and sew down the very front of them real quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our clay legs and we're going to start gluing them in place on the fabric. So the pinchers are going to go on one of these. Make sure that the larger one is going to be on the left side of the hermit crab. And then we're going to take the inner legs and then the outer legs. And again, make sure that larger leg is on the outer section on the left side of the hermit crab. So what I did for each section is I took the wires on the legs or the pinchers or whatever I was working with at the time and I kind of wrapped them together so that they could be a little bit more poseable. So I got those connected and then I took the fabric pieces and I glued them around the bases of whatever leg or pincher I was using at the time. So I glued that fabric around and then once I got all the way around I could do a little bit of sewing to close up the sides of the fabric. After that I removed any extra wire that was kind of in the way because I realized it was just a little too much to work with and I sewed each section together. I started with the claws and then I took the smaller inner legs and then I took the outer legs and they'll be on the very end. So I'm just going to sew these all together and then we're going to move on to the body of the hermit crab. So the fabric of the hermit crab's body I've left as one solid piece. I've just kind of made it a little bit simpler by connecting and leaving everything one piece that kind of folds around. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add the eyes to this. So I'm going to take our little eyes, I'm going to remove any extra wires that are sticking out of the back of them, and I'm going to glue them in place on the front portion of the hermit crab's body. After that I'm going to take the shell of the hermit crab that I made and we're going to end up gluing that on the very back portion of the fabric. So I'm going to take some fabric glue, I'm going to add it to the underside of the shell and then I'm going to rest it on the fabric and just kind of push it in place and I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then we can start sewing and closing everything up for this. 
Once we have the body section sewed and stuffed, we can then start sewing the leg section to it. So I'm just going to basically sew this to the underside of the body. So I'm just going to take my needle and thread and go all the way around connecting it. And then after that, we need to make our tail for our hermit crab, the part of the hermit crab that goes inside of the shell. So for this, I have a top and bottom, and I'm going to pin these together and sew around the body of the tail of the hermit crab with my sewing machine. I can then flip this right side out and stuff it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to start sewing some little wrinkles on the side. So I'm just going to kind of stitch all the way around the outer edge of it and pull it tight to make it a little wrinkly. Now before we add this to the hermit crab's body, what we need to do is we need to make four tiny little legs. Normally you don't see these legs because they're usually inside of the shell holding on to it. So basically these are really really tiny, I'm just going to sew around them, flip them right side out, and they're so small that I'm not even going to bother with stuffing them. I'm going to add them to the tail just right at the base of it and then we can take our tail and we can sew it to the body of the hermit crab. So we're just going to go all the way around connecting the two pieces together. Okay, so now that we have our hermit crab put together, I'm going to take some of my fabric markers and I'm going to add some coloring to it. So I'm just going to add some detail to his tail, I'm going to darken up and add some little shadows to his body and just kind of mess around with the colors until he just kind of looks a little bit better. Now you're probably wondering what are we going to do with his shell because we haven't even bothered to work with that. Now the reason for waiting is I kind of needed to make sure that I made the shell the right size so I kind of needed to have the hermit crab finished and I didn't want to accidentally make it too large or too small. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working on making an actual shell for it because I want to make it look a little bit more fantasy like and also I just didn't have a shell big enough for him otherwise I would have just got a real shell for him. So for the hermit crab shell, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a very large piece of tin foil connected to a glass container, kind of like how I do with my clay heads. So this lump of tin foil is roughly about the size of the tail of the hermit crab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it completely in a thin layer. Well, not too thin because I don't want it to break, but a thin layer of clay. So I'm going to drape that over, blend everything together, and kind of clean up the edges. I'm not trying to make it look pretty right now, I just want to get the basic shape laid out. And then after that, I'm going to end up baking this. So I'm going to bake it for about 40 minutes at our 275 Fahrenheit temperature. And then once it's done baking, I'm going to remove it from the glass container. And also, I'm going to pull out all the tin foil from the shell so it makes it nice and hollow. Thank you. 
I'm of course going to double check that it fits on my hermit crab and then we can start adding our details to the shell. So I'm going to kind of flare out the opening of the shell and just kind of make it look more like a seashell because there are different shapes and stuff to a shell. And then I can start adding little growth rings along the edges. And I'm going to also throw in some crystals because I thought it would be really fun to just throw in a little bit of a fantasy feel to it. Something that normally doesn't belong, but I figured it looked really pretty. And of course, our seashell needs to have a spiral. And shells normally spiral on the right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lay out my little growth rings in a spiraling pattern. And to kind of keep track of this, I ended up drawing on our shell and just kind of marking out where that spiral is gonna go. So I'm gonna keep adding little like growth rings here and there following that spiral. And I'm also adding crystals to those little lines to just decorate it. So I'm just gonna keep going until I get to the very center of our spiral. Once I'm happy with the look of the shell, I can do one final bake for about probably 45 to 55 minutes. I know we already baked it that long, but it should be absolutely fine. Plus I wanna make sure everything just kind of cooks correctly because of how large a piece this is. So I'm gonna get it in the oven, and then once it's out of the oven and it's cool to touch, I can start working on painting it. Now for the painting, I want to get a very natural shell look. So I'm going to start with adding the shadows and I'm going to do this kind of like how I painted into all the cracks of the hermit crab shell. I'm going to end up taking some watered down black acrylic and just kind of going over everything. I'm also going to go over the entirety of the shell, not just all the cracks. That way I can kind of add a muddying texture to the shell. So I don't want to start off with just a plain color. So I'm going to do that first, and it actually looks pretty cool, so if you wanted to stop at this point, you could, but I want to brighten up some of the sections. So I'm going to start adding some more pale kind of colors, so I'm going to start out with a lot of white, and I added a little bit of color to this. You probably can't even notice the difference, but I did add some blue to this, and I'm just going to kind of brush it in and blend it into the other colors. And then to really bring out the color of the shell, I'm going to start using some pearlescent paint. So I have this really pretty pink and I'm going to go around the lip of the opening of the shell and kind of blend it into the other colors and then I'm going to kind of add it around some of the creases of the shell. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit and I'm going to blend it out so it's not super super pink and just kind of mess around with it a little bit. And then once the outside of the shell has completely dried and it's easy to handle, I'm going to paint the inside of the shell black so you don't see that clay color on the inside. This part really wasn't necessary, but I really wanted to just kind of clean it up and make it look a little bit nicer. Okay guys, and here is our little hermit crab, the cancer sign. I had so much fun with this. I I made my first shell. I'm really proud that I actually made a functioning seashell. I mean, it's more of a cup because it doesn't spiral on the inside, but it still works. <laughs> But yeah, he is going to be on my website, so if anyone wants to give him a new home, check the links down below for that. And also, I'm going to have a plush sewing pattern. This little guy right here, I think he came out really cute, and he comes in and out of the shell just like the clay one. It just kind of slides over like a sock. <laughs> So yeah, the pattern has the shell and the hermit crab and um, instructions on how to do it. I've got pictures and everything like that.
Also, while you're in the description, if you see a bunch of other links, those are to a bunch of art supplies that I like to use to make my art dolls, and if you're curious and just want to see what I use, you can check those out. Now, if you do buy anything through those links, it does help support the channel because they are affiliated links. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!